Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Atlantis, The Lost Empire. When we last stepped off, Mammoth got mad because he rolled down a hill. But now it's okay because, uh... Because I, I, I... Yeah, he broke through. Look! Look at this mysterious mammoth-shaped hole in the wall. Hmm. Oh, you're a good boy. He's not a good boy. We'll just ignore you. Uh, that's a cliff. That's a cliff. That's a cliff. Definitely a cliff. Yeah, you just st you just stay there. You just stay there. I'll just go grab these crystals. Uh -oh. oh no! The the mammoth is running towards. Uh oh! I ran towards the mammoth. Wait, I want the crystal. Ah! Ignore the crystals. Ignore the crystals. But I want them. Um, uh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. He's not fine. It's okay. I, I just wanted to talk about the resolution of PlayStation 1 games. Ah, uh, oh, done. But yeah, if you do want to go back and play a PlayStation 1, I recommend uh, looking for a good S video cable or a SCART if your uh, TV supports it. Or setting. Oh, I should have moved. Okay. Um, get, use an emulator on the PC, but turn off the filters, and that will be like, like a fairly accurate representation of how you used to remember PlayStation 1 games looking. Although sometimes emulators can have problems, so... Yeah, you know. So it may not be ever entirely accurate. But it's a nice... A nice emulation of what things used to look like. Because you put... put a, connect a PlayStation 1 to a big... Ah, uh, TV! Mammoth, Mammoth, please. Please, Mammoth, Mammoth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, connect a uh, PlayStation 1 to this. Oh no! I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hmm. How cool does this look though? Like, the white of Audrey against like the, the murky greyness of the ice trial. It's nice having a PlayStation 1 game as well with full analog control. Like, left analog stick works great. Right analog stick controls camera. And it's non-inverted. Well, I, yeah, this is left. That's right, I'm pressing right. Left, right. Is that inverted? Going back, I play a lot of PlayStation 2 games. And sometimes they're like, do you want to invert the controls? Like, no, I'd never play inverted. But then I go to move the camera and then it's like, the opposite of what I want it to do. But then I play another game and it's fine. So I'm not sure. Like, where are you going? Ow. Um, you okay, Mr. Man there? Okay, so we need to climb up there, so we need to switch to Milo. I think the level's going to keep respawning those guys. So we came in through that door. I think this is where they respawned from. This isn't a secret area, yeah. But I do know that we have to go through here somewhere. A few flares should light my path. This was a cool mechanic, I thought. And because the flares last for a while, I don't think there's many enemies in here, but I can't remember. It's almost kind of spooky, isn't it? But yeah, just getting the left and the right analog sticks, uh, well, just the right analog stick. Hmm. 
Wow, Audrey just like solves the puzzle so fast. Marlo's there for like half an hour. How do I turn on this light switch? I thought we were still in the cutscene for some reason. Um, hello? Ah, there we are. So I think the... Uh, we just ignore these guys. They'll ignore us, we ignore them. Look, it's the happy face! I really want to play as Vinny. Oh, I think we can switch to Moliere! Okay, we need to get Milo to get up there. But I'm pretty sure we can play as Moliere for just a little bit. Uh, let me have a look out here first. Ah, there's the green crystal. Let's activate the checkpoint. Maybe we could jump over there as Molière if we can play as him. Yes! Uh, Molière is kind of the worst character in the game. Yeah. He throws rocks. Uh, honestly, kind of useless. Super bad jump. Super bad melee attack. And we'll never play as him again. Full health. Okay! Okay, that's fine. Actually, probably should swap to Milo, but you know. Wow, okay. Um, I was kind of thinking that maybe I would have a little bit more. But I seem to have taken a lot of damage. That's fine. Okay, spooky! Ah! Oh no! You know what? Let's do this as Milo. Okay. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, don't worry. It'll be fine. Oh, okay. I think I've got the powder boomerang. Yep. Okay, take this, we use it immediately. And then we run. Uh, I messed that jump up. I think because we've still got the green crystal, we come out at that as a net positive, but you know. Who knows? There was another um, climbing section the other way, wasn't there? We'll go up here first. Ignored. If he's not going to harm us, we're not going to harm him. We are pacifists, kind of, in a, in a kind of violent way. Violent pacifists. Um, I don't think these statues sort of understood what I meant by pacifist, and they've just decided to attack me. That's fine. I wonder if some enemies take more damage from certain weapons, huh? Um, okay, that missed. Okay. Two. Um, good thing we can throw the boomerang before it comes back. We've got multi boomerang attacks. This is Yay! The, the ice gem. Hooray! But the level, potentially, is not over yet! You know, I recently came to rediscover my love of 3D platformers. You know what actually did it? I brought a Nintendo 64. So, again, uh, like, in my 20s, having never really played or owned a Nintendo 64. But I have a CRT TV, so I can play retro games and have them look quite nice. I, I'm pretty sure there was a reason why we could play as Moliere, but I can't remember where. 
Huh, huh, uh, 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 uh. Oh, maybe it's up here. This is where we should place it. Actually, no, this is so that Audrey can go do her thing. Ah, uh, okay. It's funny, Audrey's great, Vinny's great, Marlo's great. Mol Moliere, um, he, he goes, yeah, he, he sniffs dirt. Probably eats it too. Throws rocks. Audrey's a fire type Pokemon. Vinny's a, uh, fire type Pokemon as well. Uh oh. Hey, we did it! Mo Molière is just rock, rock with like terrible stats in a game surrounded by water. Why does this look like there's a boulder that's about to fall down? I mean, I don't remember there being a boulder, but it looks like there is. Ah, there's boulders! I didn't even- I couldn't even remember that there were boulders here. I was just like, this is- this is a ramp. It feels like there should be rocks falling on us. Uh oh. Whenever I see rocks in a PlayStation 1 game, I just want to go play Crash Bandicoot. The Dark Souls- Movie activated. Wow, uh, yes, I totally meant to activate the movie. <gasps> Oh, I'm such a smart sausage. That was a great call on the health. Hooray, we did it. We completed the ice trial. Woohoo. Woohoo. Yeah. Good. Time to get the memory card ready. I love Milo. He's so encouraging. This is the kind of person you want in your life. You'll be back. Uh, 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 yeah, except for that, like he seems to have some like attachment issues. Pick a level, choose your destiny. Like, oh, the, the, the line. He'll be back. I don't know. Is he the Terminator or like some kind of crazy ex-boyfriend? Find out next time. I hope you enjoyed this part, and we'll be back shortly. <laughs>